Christian Gatz from Game Reactor Germany here. Um, I also want to share my uh, Games of the Year 2014 with you. Um, and let me start with uh, spot number five, uh, that'd be Watch Dogs from Ubisoft. Even though the game had its flaws, uh, looking back at it, uh, I just admire the, uh, the pure effort of trying to put together uh, game with uh, such a, a broad open world and uh, large opportunities. It is a little like Assassin's Creed in a way, but uh, I like uh, the topic, I like all this NSA, uh, the world is watching you stuff. Uh, the story is really nice and uh, the best part of it actually is the multiplayer where, where you find uh, once again a different approach on playing against each other, trying to hide and seek and uh, it's it's just a a very good overall experience, and I'm really really looking forward to what they will be doing with uh, the next iteration of the series. Place number four that would be Child of Light. Uh, it's actually a perfect example of uh, once again Ubisoft being capable of. Uh, publishing um, download games of really, really high quality. It's uh, a role-playing game, simple in a way, but has a very deep uh, story of... Uh, actually, ki it's kind of a coming-of-age thing uh, of a, a princess uh, that is in a, uh, in a strange world and has to find her way back out. Um, I just really enjoyed uh, the way it played out. Uh, it was a little repetitive, but uh, I sometimes like these games. Uh, so uh, that really that really got me going with Child of Light. And uh, the art style is really beautiful as well. It, it looks a little like a, uh, like a painting in a way that uh, you can play. So check it out. Number three would be Grand Theft Auto V uh, on the Xbox One uh, in that matter. It's not really a game of 2014, but a, uh, an HD remaster of a 2013 game. But still, it's there's no way around uh, GTA. It's just an impressive game, and it looks much, much, much more gorgeous uh, on the new consoles. Uh, doesn't really matter if it's Xbox One or PS4 in that sense. Just coming back to that game world uh, and uh, playing it again uh, you realize just how good Rockstar is at making uh, games that stand out and will stand out even in, in five years from, from now on. Place number two that would be Mario Kart 8. Uh, it's another sequel of a sequel of a sequel but Nintendo is just so able in nailing uh, fun in games uh, that it's just sort of uh, impossible to explain. You just gotta gotta go ahead and play it. Uh, it's it's the best game to play in multiplayer with your friends, uh, even the best uh, on the couch. So it kind of brought back the multiplayer uh, to your own living room. Um, I can find so much fun in beating times. Uh, on, on certain laps, uh, just playing against ghosts or playing against my friends. Uh, it's just, I mean, Mario Kart has always been such a nice game and uh, they continued uh, having that sense of perfect gameplay, uh, neat graphics uh, and, and spot on performance that is just very hard to beat. My game of the year in the end actually is one that is not the best game, but uh, it's the game I enjoyed the most in 2014, and that's Forza Horizon 2 on the Xbox One. I played it many, 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 many hours, and uh, I enjoyed every, every second of it uh, to the max. Uh, you have beautiful cars, uh, a beautiful European setting, uh, where you can race around the Riviera, uh, Riviera uh, and uh, it's just, you have a lot of freedom in doing what you want to do in Forza Horizon. There's not really a, a given track that you need to take to finish a race. In many cases, you can just uh, try and uh, pick your own route uh, and 
to finish off uh, uh, a given race. And yet again, there is so much to do, and I just wish they, I wish they would have integrated a little more uh, from the old Forza Horizon in terms of content. Uh, but the game is still running, and uh, we'll see a lot of DLC coming in. So that's, uh, I'm still playing it uh, till today.